Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in New York City with Eli as he attempts to, well, file a complaint on an officer for, well, confiscating his uh, cell phone for evidence. You know, the kind of things that frauditors usually complain about, but that's not even the best part. So, stick around to the uh, later part of the video where you see some of the worst acting anybody could ever do. So, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Stop playing with me, man. They're not gonna get away with this shit, bro. They're just doing whatever the heck they want to do whenever they want to do it. Nah. I'm playing with me, man. For those of you who really don't know who this guy is, he's one of the New York crew of frauditors. He goes by the channel name Eli. Now, in uh, recent weeks, he has uh, well become infamous for a rather massive lawsuit that was filed against him because, well, he decided to fraud at a private business and then tell his followers to give them bad Yelp reviews. Which they ended up doing, which will pretty much damage their business. So the business owner decided to sue Eli for millions of dollars. And well, what happens at the end of this video is probably the result of that. He's just trying to get money so he can, well, pay for lawyers and hopefully ease the pain of that uh, lawsuit should he lose the case. But who knows his motives in this one, but I will definitely analyze the situation at the end. What's going on? I need to make a complaint, bro. I guess one of you officers, bro. He just did me dirty, bro. I'll complain for him. He stole my camera, he stole my gimbal, he stole my phone. All right. I hope we don't lose connections here, my people. We've already been here. Well, Eli, you do tend to get arrested quite a bit. So maybe it's not stealing because, well, it was confiscated for evidence when you got arrested or something like that. So, yeah, uh, call it what you want. But in legal terms, it was confiscated. You heard? What a sign are they had it? Looks like they took it off. What a sign are they? had it, but please don't see it. We're at Midtown South. Midtown South Prison. These dirty asses. Excuse me? No, no, no. That's not gonna happen. I, I was hit. What are you talking about, man? Not allowed to record the facility. There's a, there's a right to record act that allows me to do that. Until the 17th. Oh, it's done. It's What's done? Anymore. Repealed. What's repealed? That. For the signs? Yes. Let me just my complaint so I can get out of here, bro. That's it. I'm... Let me just get the thing so I can leave. I want to record that. All right, so bring it to me outside. All right, all right, bring it to me outside. All right, all right, don't be hostile, though. Oh, you just can't tell Eli that he has to leave. He'll leave when he damn well feels like it. So let's just go ahead and skip on to the part where they pretty much force him to leave, and Will will analyze his bad acting uh, from that point on because it's one of the best uh, frauditor moments of 2023 perhaps of all time i mean rogue nation eat your heart out so let's carry on shall we a little longer than a few minutes later 
Just crazy, my peeps. I just got violated, and this is what I got to go through to make a complaint against an officer who violated me like badly, my peeps. You're going to bring me the complaint or no? I got to get out of here, bro. We're not doing what? Give me my complaint. Give me my complaint. I'm not in the facility. In the building. What are you talking about? I'm not in. Can I just get the complaint, bro? Listen to me. You are not getting anything while that camera is running. That's the bottom line. You heard that, my peeps? Thank you. Excuse me. You're in my way. Say word. Can you give me the complaint for it? Can you give me the complaint for it? You can come back in and ask for it. Can I just get it, bro? I don't know anything. What you want? A complaint for? I want to make a complaint against an officer who violated me, bro. Yeah, you can do that once you get recorded. I'm already outside. Okay, I don't know anything about this. I can't make a complaint. I can't take a complaint if I don't know what's going on. Okay? So if you want to come inside and make a complaint, you could do that. But I want a complaint for him to take it with me. Okay, you can do that. I said you can do that, right? You could come inside. I just needed to take it with me. That's it. You can take whatever you want. I'm outside, sir. I stepped outside. That's it. We're done. So just give me the complaint for him. to stop recording and you can I stepped outside. I stepped outside. I stepped outside. That's how I speak. That's not how it speaks. That's how I speak. That's how it works. That's how I speak. You're not going to help me. You're not going to give it to me. Come back another day. You're not going to give me the complaint for You're not going to give me the complaint for Watch now, he's about to put the camera down and walk right in there, and well, something funny is about to happen, which makes me wonder, uh, was him putting his camera down intentional to catch everything that goes on, so that way he wouldn't have a tumbling camera? Oh my goodness, Eli, this must have been pre-planned. Whose phone is this? Don't touch my phone! Don't touch my phone! Yeah, this whole thing is a little bit suspect, dude. First of all, you put your camera down and make sure that it's in the correct position to get every detail of this. Then you walk right in there and the cop barely even touches you, and then all of a sudden, your knees buckle in on yourself, and you take that tumble. Well, dude, you are a big guy, and it's going to take a lot to push you down. If you wanted to, you could have, well, just like any other big guy, braced yourself, and you would have been difficult to move. In fact, that's one thing they teach in professional wrestling is, well, the bigger you are, the harder it is good to be pushed over, basically. So, unless you are a total weakling, pushing you down should not have been that easy, dude. Yeah, try again. And then there's the couple times where he looks right at the camera just to make sure that it's still in position. And then when the camera is picked up, he's focused on whether or not the camera is all right. So, yeah, still a little bit suspect right there, dude. This whole thing was definitely staged. So, my personal opinion about this is, well, you're getting sued for millions of dollars for a mistake that you made. Well, I wouldn't call it a mistake, sorry. Uh, 
I would call it you being entirely stupid by messing with the private business and the private business decided to, well, pay you back in kind. And now you're going to lose millions of dollars because of it. Well, you don't have millions of dollars, so you got to find a way to get the money. And this is probably the best way for you to get it is by, well... Suing the NYPD for a fake ass fall. And that's probably what that is right there. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed my analysis of that particular incident. And I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?